And yes, it's episode 19, a very big episode 19 of Aussie Max Zone. Thanks for joining us. It is the 23rd of October and it is, for us, Apple's release day of everything. They've, they've released every, everything was mentioned today. Even the iPhone got a mention at their little conference that they had over wherever they have it. And uh, so we're going to look at everything that has been revealed today, go through it and uh, try and uh, work out if it's, if it's good, bad or indifferent. And doing that with me tonight is Michael. How you going, Michael? Good, mate. Good. Thanks, Glenn. Good. And uh, so how, how's your week been? Not too bad? Uh, not too bad. Yeah, getting up early this morning was good. So yeah. Oh, you got up to watch the uh, keynote. Yeah. yeah. Serious? Yeah. Time right. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what uh, time was that? Uh, four o'clock Sydney time. So that's three o'clock. Oh god, three o'clock my time. I got no chance. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, I'll be snoring my head off. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and all all the way. I don't know. I think he's in Adelaide tonight at the moment. But he's in he's in taxi cabs. If you can hear us, Jace, how you doing, Jace? Hello, Glenn. Coming to you from uh, on the road, uh, fresh from chasing down Apple News. That's that's the extent we go to on Aussie Mac Zone. Oh, that's that's right. That's good. It's not a New York cabbie that you're in, is it? It's an Adelaide cab. <laughs> uh, I, I wish it was. I could be off to the Fifth Avenue store. But oh, I'm coming to you tonight from my new iPhone 5S. Oh, nice, nice. And how, how do you find it so far? I just look at my hand, and there it is. <laughs> good. <laughs> Will you keep it? Did you in? get that sound? Did you get that soundboard, Glenn? <laughs> we need the. Uh... We don't. We don't need any soundboards for that comment. I don't think. <laughs> no, it's really, it's really good. Um, I had the five before, and just just the faster processor, especially with iOS seven. Yeah, is, right. uh, is a, is a little little bit nicer. Yeah, good stuff. All right, so now you've put together some notes for us for, for tonight, and let's. So I suppose the first one. Let's start off. With because it is, and this is why we've been uh, we're on a Wednesday night. We'll go back to Tuesday night next week, but we we are on a Wednesday night tonight recording. And if you want to join us in the lounge, normally if uh, everything goes right, which I think it is from now on, I've got the the streaming going great. So it's uh, AussieTechHeads.com.au forward slash live for the live stream seven thirty Tuesday nights our Queensland time. Okay, all right. OSS Mavericks. Oh geez, let's, uh, Michael. What, what? You, you're into all this sort of stuff. What, what do you know about Mavericks? How, have you had it? Have you just got it, or have you got it? Yeah, I, I got it. I downloaded it today. Installed it tonight on the machine behind me with the Aussie Max Zone logo. Nice, nice. Um, it's a five, five and a half gig download. Yes, it's but a... it just just installed. There was nothing tricky about it. No, yeah, I did it onto my little Mac Mini. And it was good. Um, yeah, five and a half gigs, as you said. It took a while. It probably took longer than a Windows install. But, uh, yeah. Did you find it took a while? Or, or my little yeah, Mac- it was about 40 minutes. It's yeah. About 40 minutes to do it, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it said on the screen. But I think uh, I think in real in my real time, it took a little bit longer. It just yeah. seemed to be going on and on and on and on. But uh, upgraded machine goes fine. Uh yeah, no dramas. All the data is still there, so yeah, got no no problems. Yeah, yeah, no, really good. Now, and the thing to remember, guys, when you download it, if you've got multiple machines, is before you install it, uh, look at the little uh, uh, icon that uh, will come down, and uh, right click on it, and go to Show Package Contents, and you can uh, make a copy of the um, in- installer out, so you don't need to download it for each machine. Uh, if you install it straight away, oh, yeah. it will clean itself up afterwards and delete the uh, install package. So uh, mm. that's probably pretty important to do if you've got uh, nearly six gig of uh, of uh, OS ten coming down. Yes. Yeah. Is it surprising that it is five and a half gig? I suppose that's what these things are these days. But I was a little well, bit a, surprised. It's full operating system, I guess, and you know that will be that will be compressed. Uh, so I guess you think back to the day of DVD and whatever, and you know, yeah, what's a DVD four odd gig that would uh, um, you know. Couple the days of Windows installs and Mac installs came out to a good, you know, well, well over 10 gig of operating system, I guess, once it, once it's uh, out yeah. on the system. So what's the, what's the, uh, the, the, say, the naming convention for the Mac OS? Is it like they've been on OS 10 for some time? Like, what happens? Like, are they, is this where we stay? Or when do we go to 11? Or is this, they like the X too much? It's just too easy to say. Um, I don't know, Michael. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, you'd be able to remember before OS X, wouldn't you, Michael? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> six, seven, nine. <laughs> yeah, right. okay. 
And uh, so what happens? What do, Why are we stuck on 10? Is there any reason? Are we stuck on 10? Or is, you know, what? No, I don't think we're stuck on 10. It's it's just keep updating until they, they're right. ready to rewrite it again. Yeah, okay. All right. Big, big step. Maybe when they, maybe when they converge the iOS and Mac operating systems fully. I think it seems to be getting a lot closer with Mavericks and iOS 7. Uh, and so maybe it is the iteration. Then, you know, the next one is, you know, a single operating system nearly that runs uh, across all hardware. Yes, yeah. Uh, look, some of the other enhancements include mo- multiple monitor support. Uh, I haven't quite worked out how, that actually, but uh, maybe someone can tell me how. What is there? How do we plug two monitors in? Do we need an adapter or how does that work? So I've got me Mac Mini. That, well, it, it's got... You can you can have multiple monitors on your Mac Mini now. Right. It's got two video outs. Oh, okay. Um, Didn't even look. <laughs> also, it's you can use the Apple TV as an, another monitor. Oh, okay, right. And and the big part about multi, supporting multiple displays is so that you get the the menu bars at the top of each screen that you're in. So if you've got Pages running on on your laptop and um, Keynote running on your display you don't have to f- fiddle around a bit <laughs> yes i see what you mean so it's a bit, that, bit frustrating on a big display yeah i guess so because at the moment so what you if you have a, a dual monitor situation it's just like an extension of the the main monitor but with no task or no dock or menu bars is that how yeah, that, yeah. That what it, so, so you've got to drag you got to drag from you know if you've got two uh, Two twenty-four inch displays. You've got to drag from the bottom of one display right up to the top of the other. It takes yes. takes forever. Yep, yep. I get it. Uh, now, big improvements to. Well, the... it... Yeah, sorry, Jay. I was going to say the other big news of, is, of course, that it's free, and I think going all the way back to Snow Leopard, so there is no no, no yeah. cost to upgrade. Yes, yes. So yeah, free is that is that uh, is, that's obviously a ploy to try and get people to download it and maybe f- further again cement themselves into the the Apple ecosystem. That's how you would be seeing it. Yeah, and to keep everyone up on the on, on the latest because uh, you know that feeds into the ecosystem and that's been very successful. I think during the keynote they mentioned that there's been already I don't know Michael was it a seventy percent uptake uh, for iOS seven. So it seems to be a strategy that works well for well for Apple. Yeah, and I suppose uh, the next step or the next uh, closely to the free uh, OS X Mavericks is obviously the the, um, the updates to the iLife pack. And look, I, I was just talking to Michael just before the show, and I was surprised. Like, I went in expecting to pay for GarageBand, you know, because it's new, part of the new a new pack, if you know what I mean. But because I'd already had it, and I'm, I wasn't too sure, I was, I was getting too confused. All this stuff confuses me. But I, I I bought the app on the iPhone, the GarageBand app. So I wasn't sure if that was because I was was I getting it free because I've already had it on the phone. Um, but Michael, Michael, you were telling me how come I got it for free. Oh, it was, it's one of the one of the upgrades, and they're doing the in-app purchasing now to cover yep. the licensing costs for the the mm. clips that they use, the loops. Sorry, the loops that they use. Yeah, there's and one thing I did notice when I loaded up the Garage Band, there's I tried to I've got a template, you know, I record the audio uh, of the show on to Garage Band, and I, when I loaded up the template from last week, it wouldn't load properly because. Uh, apparently, this new garage band does not have podcasting support. Uh, be that what it may be, I don't know particularly, but uh, it, it, it converted itself. It, the file I opened up last week's garage garage band file, so it converted itself. Everything remained the same pretty much. Uh, I couldn't see the difference. Uh, I'll tell you, it did sound like it played a lot better. The audio sounded a lot better. Uh, I don't know if that's. I think there was some tweaks, uh, the equaliser or something like that. But uh, but go and have a look. The iMovie, I saw iMovie and I saw uh, the other one, iPhoto, uh, both updated today as well. And everything everything we're talking about here is uh, out today. Go get it. Go and get your Safari updated today as well. That's right. That's right. I've not had a good play uh, with that. Even on the ten point eight machines, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, they had some security updates. Um, just on the iLife stuff, I think it's, is it iLife and iWork. That now Apple are bundling for free, Michael, and it's also across the whole, well, iWork, across the, I guess, iCloud connectivity. So it's the same across iOS and Mavericks. 
and yeah. also the uh, web versions. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, that's correct. And the, the web version is very interesting. It means we can get those Windows people working in the real world with Keynote, et cetera. <laughs> I yeah, saw, don't yeah. need Google anymore. Well, yeah, so, they're also, Sorry, they're so, also saying that um, because we've got collaboration now, Google, you couldn't do – I've only done Google Docs with the list, so, but they're saying that the um, collaboration, because we can do images, that, that outstrips Google now, so – yeah, okay. Because, look, the keynote, Michael, you stayed up for the keynote, uh, and I guess, Jason, you did you watch the keynote? I know you're on your way back from uh, a plane trip, so it must have been a big day if you were up watching it. Uh, I didn't didn't watch it live, but I uh, got up early and caught up on on all the news. And I guess, yeah, getting into that, uh, the, the big news is really around uh, new iPads. Yes, all right. Well, let's move on from uh, the uh, – unless there's something else that we need to talk about. Uh, there's – well, say quickly, big improvements to Notification Centre and improved Finder along with better power management and improved performance in Safari. So apparently, like, uh, power management for laptops, like, you can get an extra hour out of it just the way – just because of the uh, the way that they've reprogrammed, recoded yeah, it. And, yeah, it's just smarter, yeah. Yeah, and saving RAM right. or something. I don't know. But, yeah, but it's good. Uh, the other features, oh, which is probably my favourite feature, if it works how I think it's going to work, is the keychain in the iCloud. So please tell me that if I put a – I can password – uh, so if I remember a password on the, say, the app Mac Mini, then when I go to that web page on my iPhone, it's going to know the password. That's should I'm, know the password. Yeah. Oh, good grief, gracious me! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that for ages. I hate. I it was one of the drawbacks of going to uh, to looking at web pages on the on the iPhone is because you go don't know the password. Um, what yeah. else? Yeah. So that's good. Uh, and, and maps. Yes, new maps ma- as well. Yeah, so and, it, and it's already remembered. It remembered the last couple of searches I did on the iPhone. Right, came up on on the maps when on Mavericks. So it's already talking to each other nicely. Yeah, well, that's good. And look, the keynote. One of the examples they uh, produced on the keynote was that you plan your trip on your your Mac you know, with all your stops or whatever and your 3D pathway where you're going and everything. And then you can plan it on your Mac, nice big screen, mouse and everything, and then you send it to your phone and then away you go. So I found, I find yeah. that's going to be quite useful as well. well it's, it's obviously working in both directions. So Yeah. Yeah, look, they're really, I think uh, Apple is just really positioning themselves as just, you know, for, for personal use. This is just you can't do without it, can you, really? Like you look at the other stuff, like the Windows stuff and the Google stuff. I don't think it's just all. It just doesn't come together as as good. No, it's just on on the weekend with the Microsoft eight point one update for the Surface. Yes, and they had to pull it because it stopped work. It didn't work, so it's a bit what bit of a th- challenge. Whereas so far, like the iOS seven worked for most people. And yes, okay. So uh, Mavericks work for both of us. There, mm. There's two hundred percent. Yes, <laughs> off to a good start. <laughs> well, and, yeah, and the my iPad worked. Well, the iPhone. Well, we'll get to the iPhone anyway because that's uh, a bit like, a little bit later. That had an update as well. All right, so let's uh, move on. I think is Jace. Is he no, nothing else to say about the OS X Mavericks, Jace? No, I think we've sort of covered that um, through WW from what was out through WWDC. You know, all that time we've been waiting for it. So it's probably yeah, just delivered on everything everything they said and. Yeah, as you say, it appears to be as good as they uh, said they would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess really the big news was the uh, with the iPads, with the uh, now the iPad Air being the big iPad, and the iPad Mini did get the Retina display that we were all hoping for. <laughs> what you were hoping for? <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so I'll be getting my order in there. <laughs> all right. So uh, look, moving on then to the release of iOS updates, uh, add support for the keychain. Great. And looks like it's also fixing the accelerometer issues. Uh, Jason, have you seen that you've got the 5S? Have you got any problems with your accelerometer at the moment or before uh, the update? Um, no, 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 I don't, Glenn, but thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I didn't see any issues. I, I think where I had it spoken about it was re- well, if you use the, I think it was uh, around the, maybe around the compass and, uh, the other one was around the uh, levelling tool. Like, it's a spirit level. It was a few degrees out. But uh, yeah. I hadn't seen any issues with anything I use day-to-day. And 
uh, those type of functions. So you didn't drop any. Maybe people who are looking for bugs found them, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how serious it was you unless you're looking for for it. But you, apparently, it's fixed now. Anyway, you didn't drop any plum bobs down from them or anything like that, just to test. No, them no, no nothing like that. <laughs> uh, Mike, as your five S come, Michael. No, no, still a few weeks away, I believe. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What's going on? <laughs> you, you, you should have got no, up I'll early. <laughs> yes. Well, you, you might not have accelerometer issues. You might just be but, straight into the good stuff. <laughs> right. Will you get in the gold obviously, one, Michael? Obviously, my phone's not, fast, not getting here fast enough to have any accelerometer issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah so you're, you're gold, Michael, I think Jace was asking. Gold iPhone 5S? Uh, no, I went, I went for the black. Oh, the space grey. Or the gray. space grey. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I got. Yeah, I think the space grey is good. Uh, so, okay, so just get back to the iOS 7.0.3 uh, installed. I think it was about 70 meg on my 5, iPhone 5, and about 55 meg on my iPad. Installed for me probably under 10, 10 minutes uh, over the air. So I did an over the air job. It was great. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Any Michael, any comments on do you have the similar no problems? Uh, no, nah, not yet. But yeah, you're a brave man not backing up, that's all. Oh look, you know. Well doesn't it doesn't it back up over the air anyway when you plug it in every night? Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if you set it up that way, yeah. Yeah. So it's all good. <laughs> oh, I know, I like living on the edge. And then, <laughs> and then I'll win from here to Timbuktu if it goes wrong. That's uh, right. <laughs> So, so that's right. So you can go and update that. Uh, look, if you're going to update your phone, your iPad, go and update your machine as well. Uh, I think. Look, I think uh, they were saying in the keynote that this Maverick is free for most machines back to 2007 vintage. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so how does that work? Yeah, then? the fir- first Intel IMAX. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, sorry, the the first silver ones. Yeah. The... Yeah. Okay. So, do you think? Uh, that each OS that they release, does it, like with the older machines, do they become slower as the OS, I suppose, expands or whatever? Or is it pretty much a tight little... Uh, generally, they've become faster, always become faster, yeah. Yeah, really? That's, yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Yeah, I was, yeah. so, um, yeah, my little Mac Mini, it hasn't missed a beat either since it, since it happened. As they tighten up the code and things like that, it just it definitely makes a difference. Mm. So the iPad, iPod Touch... Uh, a bug fix with a build, yeah. So fix the bug. Oh, that's just build numbers. That's all tech stuff. And uh, show notes are at the uh, AussieMaxzone.com.au if you want to see these show notes later on and link to the actual source. Uh, yeah. So blah blah blah. There's not much else there. Uh, the update supports the iCloud keychain. Yep. Blah blah blah. That's about it. I think for for that. Uh, look, there's, there's it's, it goes on with a lot of little little other enhancements. Um, but uh, look, you can read that. Updates the bold text setting to also change dial pad text. You know, <laughs> all the all the really important stuff. Um, it improves system stability when working using iWork apps. Uh, en- enhance the reduced motion setting to minimise both motion and animation. Yeah, so go and have a look at that. There's, there's heaps of them. Heaps of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, as, yep. Sorry. Slow down the parallax effect, so people don't get seasick. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We don't want to. We don't want people getting seasick. <laughs> it's like did they did they did they get, get go any further with the waterproofing code? You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they gave that away, did they? All right. Um, yeah, I think they gave that away. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people dropped them in buckets of water. Uh, as Jace briefly mentioned before, Apple announced the thinner, lighter iPad Air. So this is a break with naming conventions, I suppose. It was it was the working title. What was it? iPad Five or something. Uh, but now, yeah. Um, yeah, iPad Air, sixty-four bit A seven processor. Sweet. That, uh, that was probably the the biggest and biggest one that caught everyone off was just calling it Air. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so I suppose look, you can see that it's thinner, it's lighter, and is it cheaper? I don't know. I think it might be. Is it a little bit cheaper? I know the Macs were a bit cheaper, weren't they? Uh, no, it's, the, it's the same price. Right, as yeah. As far as I'm aware, yeah. And I think it's still, they're still in the 16, th- was it 16, 32, 64, and 128? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so renamed the iPad Air. I think that's probably good. Why not? You know, it's nice and thin. Uh, so, yeah, why not? So it's 20% thinner and 28% lighter. So it's something like seven, seven and a half millimeters thick. Like, look, the iPad two was nine something. 
but this thing, seven and a half, how do they fit everything in, you know? Uh, and a uh, smaller bezel around the edge. So, whoopie do. <laughs> that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Jace, you got any more, any comments on the iPad Air? I guess, yeah, I was really just following the styling of the iPad mini with that uh, thinner bezel. So it be interesting to see in the flesh, you know, when you pick it up, because it, it does sound, um, yeah, with, with the thinness and lightness, it, it sounds pretty incredible as to uh, uh, what it's going to uh, feel like in the uh, in the hand. Um, I guess the, the only other comment is that the uh, iPad 2 is still uh, on sale and maybe that's hitting the education market. Mm. And maybe also the market around where it's used, maybe commercially with, you know, there's a lot of add-ons that have been uh, made for it. And uh, I, I guess where they do leverage the 30-pin dock, because the 30-pin dock is what's on the iPad too. So maybe they've kept it around for those two reasons. Mm. Yeah, so the iPad, uh, yeah, so the Office twice the CPU and graphics performance of the previous one. 64-bit architecture supports OpenGL ES version 3 for game console-like visual effects. Uh, so other stuff, it's uh, iPad Air comes with the 802.11 ABG and Wi-Fi and LTE cellular models have two antennas to support, to support the uh, various various ones. And prices are, uh, I think they're pretty much the same, as Michael was saying, for 16 up to 128 gig. Uh, the iPad Air will be available on the 1st of November at 8am in the US and for the other cu- 40 other countries and apparently China uh, as well. So uh, that sounds good. The iPad Air, yeah, blah, 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 blah. All right. So let's go to the iPad Mini. So the iPad Mini is also... So now, now yeah. with a retina display, and that's, that's probably, yeah, I guess well, what I was hoping for, what people were hoping for. And that's pretty incredible now that um, being a retina display on that you know size, um, small display, it's got the same uh, um, pixels per inch as the uh, iPhone you know five five S, mm. just on, on, on a larger screen. So that's even a greater density than the Nexus Seven and those other devices that uh, had sort of uh, snuck in over the last twelve months. And another interesting graphic that old Cookie uh, brought up during the keynote was that the, the percentages of, once again, the use of the iOS compared to other tablets. And it was something like the Apple the Apple iOS was something like, oh, it was up like, what's it, up like 80% or something? It was a rather high number compared to all other tablets in use. So not too sure how, it, how they get to those figures. You would have thought it would be, I would have thought more even considering the amount of Android tablets are out there. But, um yeah, I don't know. Maybe just as people say, people people buy the Android ones and then stuff them in the drawer, then go out and buy an iPad. That was his. <laughs> yeah, because they don't, they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what that's what the uh, that was his call at the last keynote. I think wasn't it last year sometime. So uh, yeah, iPad Mini with Retina display. Yeah, seven point nine inch Retina display resolution uh, twenty forty eight by fifteen thirty six, matching the resolution of the full size Retina iPad. There you go. Measuring in at 7.5 millimetres. Jeez, that's thin, isn't it? Yeah, not much. It's gonna, yeah, that's going to be really good to see, and that, that, that display. And uh, they've kept the Mini around as well and uh, dropped the price uh, in, the, in, in the US. Uh, well, in US dollars, it dropped from, I think it was $329 before to $299. Uh, I can't recall the Australian price now because we actually have copped a little, uh, little bit of Apple tax, uh, I think, uh, <laughs> Maybe in relation to our drop in the Australian dollar too, but uh, yeah. uh, I think all the prices have snuck up a little bit, haven't they, Michael? Yeah, yeah, but only only a little. It's just, yeah, it's nothing. It's, to... not, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, I think everything's pretty. You, you got the screen, which which that put the price up a little bit uh, on on the seven inch. Yeah, I yeah, think I'll, st- I'll still buy one. Well, probably. Yeah. <laughs> The, the most, the, one of the more interesting things from the keynote, and I urge you to go and watch it, is the making of uh, the Mac Pro, uh, like the making of the shell uh, that it goes into. I think that was great. Uh, the Mac Pro is launching in December with Xeon processors, dual fire pro GPUs, and PCIe flash storage. Yeah, this thing's a beast, isn't it? It's going to be a nice machine, but oh, uh, you're going to need to. Uh crank out the uh, platinum credit card, I reckon. 
Yeah, they did. Did they mention any any dollars? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, three three grand US is the entry level. Ooh. But they, they haven't mentioned anything around the options, have they? So it might be the normal thing of well, you could pay three grand for this, but what you really want is the, you know, five grand model with all of these yeah. features uh, in it. There is a paragraph. Yeah, big, big difference in power, it's like. Your power, did you say? Yeah, yeah, like the the performance type specs. Yeah, okay. Is that a huge difference? Is, is the the Mac Pro? Is that something that you interest you, Michael? Oh no, it's out of my league. I think. <laughs> I'd tell you, it'd be fast though, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah. so the Apple's first computer in many years to be assembled in the United States. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, the new Mac Pro is complete with the, the radical design of the tower workstation. Apparently, this new design is replaced. Didn't the, the last one had something like eight fans or something? I think if I remember from the keynote. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. four yeah, it's a big one. Like, it's a big aluminium one, almost like a you know, I guess a tower PC case. And uh, that, I mean that style has been around for uh, back to the G G five um, uh, Mac Pro. So I mean that's mm. been around. For a while, well, that'd be around ten years, wouldn't it, Michael? Yeah, it'd have to be. Yeah, uh, yeah. Best part of it for a very similar case. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, so it was up around. I, I heard you counting now. I think you did. You get to eight fans. I think it was about eight fans, and yeah. and this thing is replaced by one. So that just gives you the one um, fan. <laughs> but there's no no drives in it. Yeah, well, true, but uh, but st- but still, like they've got the special grill, they've got the the hollow interior. Oh, go and have it. If you haven't seen one, go have a go and watch the keynote. That's probably the keynote. Probably itself is bloody a ten gig high res file. So watch out. Uh, <laughs> but um, I I spent so many um, so much of my bandwidth today on Apple. I hope they're happy. <laughs> um, the well, you sorry. They've got two on the Australian site. Uh, the quad core is three nine nine nine, and the six core is five two nine nine. Wow, that's yeah. twelve gig of RAM or sixteen gig of RAM, and who'd be who'd be looking for one of those? Like what sort? Uh, of... Quite a few people, I think. Yeah, so what's high the, end the right, so video yeah. video production, graphics production, graphics artists, uh, mm. production houses. So you know, around publishing. Yep. Yep, yeah, but they they certainly are a, looking like a beast of a machine. They're a beast, but yeah, expensive. All right, so we've got like a I think, but, but even the add-ons are expensive. That's the challenge. <laughs> yes, yeah, and I suppose, and a, again, the uh, the parts and that go into it are all special sizes. They're all, um, you know, they're not. You can't just go down to the shop and and buy a, a replacement part i wouldn't imagine well not that you can with apple well, anyway but these yeah, well, you, can, you can't anyway but then you can put you can go and buy third-party ram i'm sure yeah that'd be about <laughs> it wouldn't it <laughs> yeah but the yeah, i think that's the only thing you can change i mean well i guess all the up all the upgrade and uh additional stuff in it is all around um uh using the thunderbolt connector isn't it yeah mm. yeah thunderbolt yeah. 2 yes all right. <laughs> now, now before we move on to uh, to more th- announcements from the WWDC, or whatever the hell it was called that happened yesterday, the um, now Michael IT help for you dot com dot au. Uh, they're down there in sunny Penrith. How's the how's the heat down there, Michael? You getting the, how's the fires going? Uh, fire, fires are a bit rough and a bit close, and the smoke's been terrible. Yeah. But, um, I think it kept the temperature down a bit. The smoke yesterday it's supposed to get fairly hot, but well, it's keeping the sun that's, out. That's right. <laughs> yeah, of course, truth. <laughs> All right, so uh, now Michael, he, he repairs uh, iOS devices and Mac uh, computers. If you've got something that you need repaired, take it into him down at Penrith. Down there, look up the website, IT help for you, number four, letter U, dot com, dot au, and uh, go and have a chat with him. Or you can uh, have a chat with him and send it by post. Uh, you know, if you're out somewhere in Wagga Wagga, say, and uh, you need to get your phone fixed, uh, he does screens. He does everything, every, any, just about everything. Get your broken phone back up and running good. And uh, thanks to Michael, he's, give, he's given us some $20 iTunes gift vouchers to give away if you want to leave a remark on the iTunes Aussie Mac Zone podcast. 
if you know what I mean. So we do have a person that's done it today, actually. So good on you, Chris Emo. Now, you know who you are. I don't, but I probably soon will. So Chris Emo. So thanks for your kind words on the review. And if you want to send glenn at aussiemaxzone.com.au an email with your postal address, I will send a $20 gift card out to you. So thank you very much. And thanks, IT help for you. Thanks, Michael. All no right. worries. All right. Now that just fell off the desk. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll pick it up later. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. What else come out of this conference, this keynote? The, uh, up, the MacBook Pros have been updated. Jase, how's the MacBook Pros looking? Well, MacBook Pros is looking very nice now, or especially the Retina MacBook Pros, to uh, uh, be precise, and uh, especially the 13-inch one, which is getting down to MacBook Air thinness. Uh, it had, it uh, had a uh, reduction in uh, size. Uh, it's been updated to the latest uh, uh, Haswell chipset, and in line with, I guess, chipset updates, it's uh, they've got better graphics uh, in them, and they're... I guess there was um, some comment with the first line of MacBook Pro Retinas around their ability to push the pixels around the screen. So hopefully that's been uh, addressed now. Um, but for me, that MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch is looking, uh, is, is looking pretty good. Um, it's almost, as I said, MacBook Air size, but with a Retina display. Mm, nice. Uh, Michael, you got any comments on the new MacBook uh, Pro? Yeah, no, nah, very, very nice. And, and they, that problem with the, uh, Pushing the pixels around should go away now for sure. What's the, what do you mean pushing yeah. the pixels around? What's that? Oh, just the the graphics. There were, there were some graphics speed issues on the previous model. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, and whether well, distort just, just, the screen a bit or something? Oh, just yeah, be, because it mixes up uh, HD and sort of standard video, shall we say? Depending yeah. on what you were doing, you would see a little bit of. Flickering, etc. So, oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Well, okay. So, hopefully, yes. As you said, that's this will probably fix but, it but up. But it did. It did depend on what you were doing. It wasn't mm. there all the time. Uh, and a price drop. I think the previous ones were twenty one ninety nine. Now these uh, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, pretty so, good. Yeah. So, so you're repairing the MacBooks as well. You do everything. Yeah. Oh, everything. There's nothing you can't do. <laughs> the, uh, all right. Anything else we need to know about that? I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When they the keynote, I was interested that the they kept saying, "Oh, you know, the new Haswell processor, blah blah blah, Haswell, Haswell, Haswell." But do we know what what it is? Like the specs of this processor? Do we know actually what flavor Haswell that it is? Um, does it uh, like if it's i i three five or seven or something like that, or is, are they, are these specially made chips for Apple or what happened? No, no, there are i5s, i7s. Oh, so there are, um, so the, comp the MacBooks or the Macs, the computers will come with whichever setup configuration that you like. You could have the i5 version or an i7 version? Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I would recommend seeing that I've just got an i7 in a PC format. I would recommend an i7. They're, they're good. They're fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing everything that, that I couldn't do before. I can do everything now and still got heaps of headroom. So it's uh yeah, they yeah. that's pretty good. Uh all right. And, and the P PCIe flash storage or PCIe hard drive ma makes a big difference too. Yes, yep. Yeah, so they look like good little machines. They they're good little machines. You're not one to uh to uh download the software in advance, are you? You you wait for the the, the normal release date, so you haven't yeah, you haven't yeah. touched the software before today. No. Uh, the yeah, so because no, even for example the Gold Master which they released last week, they did one change to that during the week as well, updated the Gold Master. Oh right, yeah okay. So the, now the Gold Master, you can still buy the OS. Or when you talk Gold Master, you think oh, this is the Gold Master C or DVD that it comes on. Do they are they when they say gold, is that now just a a, a figure of speech? You know, that, yeah, yeah. So there's no because so that, that's 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 the build that they want everyone to use. Yes, because there is no you develop you might be three or four builds behind while you're testing your software, but then they say this is this is the release we want you to use. Yeah, yeah, because the the OS X doesn't come on media anymore at all. 
or can you get it on on media? No, uh, you can't. You can't get it on media. Yeah. So you have ha- to create your own. That's right. Yes, and even I think is it right that even if your machine crashes and you put a new hard drive in, I th- now I might be totally wrong here, but you'll put me on the right track, I'm sure. But do you up? Can you still access? Like it's built into the the machine's BIOS or something that you can still download what you need to install to make it new again. Like say, so yes. yeah. So if your machine crashes, you can still access the the OS and bring it down. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no just, just a key configuration. Yep. Yeah. To, right. To get to it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, now, in addition, the improved Intel chips, the eight hundred two eleven AC. Now, that's uh, AC. That's the the new Wi Fi uh, flavor, I guess. Yeah. Yep. yep. They apparently offer speeds up to three times as fast as eight hundred two eleven N. So, geez. Things are moving along. I can remember when N was just in draft, and now it's uh, superseded. <laughs> so, so there's AC. Is, there, is that the, is that does that run on a five gigahertz band, or is that still on the two point? Was it two point four? It's not on the five. Ah, uh, no. Uh, yeah, is that is that the same? Is it still uh, is the eight hundred two eleven AC? Is that still two point four band? Or because I know the airport extremes will also operate on the the higher band, won't they? The five, yeah, the fives. Uh, uh, it, uh, I can't tell you exactly what the spec is, but I thought they were operating in both bands, and the, oh, okay. the spec is for both bands. Yep, yep. I thought that was that was the case as well. Yeah, I thought that's where it was, um, where they were heading. Also, have gained two. This is the MacBook Pro still two Thunderbolt two ports. Who said Thunder Thunderbolt was dead? I thought someone said that was dead, and they were going back to uh, something else. But anyway, Thunderbolt 2 ports. They are PCIe flash storage, as Michael said. And, yeah, so uh, blah, blah, blah. That's good. Apple has reduced the pricing yet. We covered that. And all of this, I think, that's available pretty much now, I think, the MacBooks. I think pretty much. Yeah. But anyway, check out yeah, the I Apple. think they're the only things you can go in and buy now. Um, yeah. MacBook, yeah, the uh, Pros are uh, December sometime. Uh, iPad, uh, iPads not yet, and uh, uh, yeah, I think the prize you can walk into the store and uh, and get now. Yeah, nice, nice. All right. Uh, anything else, guys, that you wanted to to bring up about the the keynote? I think we've just about covered it. That was pretty fast and furious, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was interesting that uh, someone mentioned today it wasn't part of the keynote that the iPad twos sort of still 60% of that portable web, mobile web browsing type situation hasn't actually gone down heaps, even though it's got mm. two years old. Yeah, okay. So it's all those school kids, I reckon. It's, it's got a high, you know, where, where you see it out in educational land, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of iPad 2s out in schools. I've got no problems with iPad 2s. That's what mine is. And it's... um. Yeah, look, I, I thought it was a bit uh, jittery. It was starting to get a bit jerky in some stages, but to be honest, I hadn't noticed it today, so maybe the update might have fixed it. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you on that one. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was going okay. Uh, yes, we've mentioned the new iLife and iWork, so available for free with a new device purchase. And Apple's new iWork, yeah, we did that. And Apple announces that they've paid out to developers, app developers, $13 billion. So um, yeah, sixty billion cumulative app downloads. That's huge, isn't it? Thirteen billion. So well, so you take thirty percent of that, and that's what Apple. That's what Apple's taken, or roundabouts. Would that be about right? Nearly. Well, I think right. that's the seventy percent side of it. So that's yeah, uh, so, nearly right. Know, that's uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, but you've been done too badly. No, that's right. <laughs> I, I can't. And you've got to remember, in, in order for um, them to have got their uh, their four or five billion dollars, they've uh, made a few uh, bucks on the uh, hardware to support it as well. <laughs> yes. You aren't going to be running those apps on uh, anything other than some Apple hardware. Mm. Well, I'm really excited about the interaction between the Mac Mini and the iDevices. I think that's the biggest excitement for me today. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Uh, the keychain, especially the keychain. My goodness, it's just great. Uh, yeah. no, it's going to be nice between all the machines. Yeah, as you say, the desktop and the iOS devices. So mm. that's really, 
really building on that ecosystem, isn't it? And just making it a, a great user experience. Now, your iPhone 5S, Jase, hasn't missed a beat all night. It's been great. No, that's been good. You've, you've been on the 4G yeah. and you just, you just streamed and... Yeah, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's done really well. And yeah. I was on the Air Force last week, I, well, on my 5, when that's I was right. uh, bandwidth impaired. That did, uh, that did fix itself, so... What, what's, um, but what, to, what's happened to the 5? What, what happens to your, your old stuff? Uh, I think that's been uh, reallocated to someone at work. Oh, it's work. oh, that's right. There, work phones. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a work phone. So, uh, it's, it's either... uh, yeah, I got the new one for, for testing purposes, and the other one will get uh, redeployed. <laughs> well, you finished testing the five, so get rid of that one. <laughs> that's yeah. right. I finished testing on that one. It's either work or kids. Someone, someone gets it. Nice, nice went up in the pecking order, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to yours, Michael, when you get your five S? Uh, Gaz, my wife. Yeah, what's what's she and then, and then hers will go to my hers will go to my son. Oh, you know the pecking order. Yeah, <laughs> you love it. you're at the you're at the top of the chain. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. That's the way to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, do you? <laughs> and does the bottom one go to the cat? Is that at the bottom of the uh, chain? <laughs> That's that power yeah. PC. Now, I think I, I think I asked you before. Yeah, I got that old. You know that old. Is it, it's a power PC, isn't it? That old heap of junk. Yeah, I can't do nothing with that, can I? I think you told me to chuck it, but just before I do, I, I just I, I can't chuck Re- it. Recycle it was the word we used. That's right. Yes, recycle it. It's such a shame, isn't I, it? I think you can even take it into the Apple Store in in uh, okay. in Rabina, okay. for example. Oh yeah, you could take it in there, and they would recycle it correctly for you. Yeah, I think they recycle. No, yeah, you don't, have to, buy, you don't have to buy a new one. No. Yeah, well, I might. I'll have to do that because I've been wanting to throw it for, a, or you know, do something with it, get rid of it for a while. And uh, it's just, you know, the kids can't use it because they their little app, the apps that they use or their programs they use, their flash programs for school. You know, like uh, yeah. reading eggs and mathematics and all that sort of stuff. It's all flash sort yeah. of based. Yeah. And yeah, that little machine it just doesn't handle it anymore. You can't update the Firefox. You can't update Jack. So um, yeah, That's right. have to do something. I got a nice PC Sorry, for him. Yeah, it's all right. It's going to be replaced with a PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A Windows 7. All right. Uh, that's about it. Uh, uh, J- yeah, Michael. Windows 8.1 you're up to now. Oh, that's right. No, I know. Yeah, well, that's true. I could probably do that, yes. Well, I've got 8.1. It's running all right for me. Uh, then it's, yeah, but we'll talk about that on Thursday night, 8.1. So <laughs> if, you want to, if, you want to, if you want to hear about 8.1, tune in. Aussie Tech Heads uh, coming out Thursday. So Thursday night, join us live, 7.30 Queensland time, or uh, just grab us on the on the download, on the DL. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Michael, did you have anything else for tonight? Yeah, I got a good little letter this week. Oh, nice. I just hold it up like that. Yeah. Says, oh, yeah. Says you're ready. <laughs> oh, serious. NBN, let's go. Yeah. So, so I think I'm going, you know, 50-20. Oh, sweet. Well, so, so it's run past your house. It's, it's, it's past your house, obviously. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, oh, nice. Ready nice. to go. So have you worked out plans, like who you're going with or anything like that? Uh, probably IINet at the moment. Or there's, there's another one that I'm looking at, but. Oh, how yeah, excited yeah, are you? To, oh. Trying to get the static IP address is the trick. Yeah, okay. Well, so why do you need that? Do you need that? For any particular I reason? Just, just run my servers. Oh, okay. Doing yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, normally you can pay for that as extra, so you're not sure if they yeah. offer that as, as yet. But uh, yeah. so, so what you sign up and they come and put the little box on the wall and and away you go. Or That's you... it. Oh, yeah. So I when's... don't need a phone because I just use my. We, we all use our mobiles. That's. Oh, when's this happening? Ah, yeah. uh, hopefully, hopefully within four weeks I would have that. Oh, so jealous. I'm turning green. <laughs> oh, geez, yes, how, I know. Oh, man. How good would that be? 
send us some speed tests. Post them up on the Facebook page or something when you get we it. Will. We will. Awesome. We will. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, I'll I'll be bashing as soon as it's available. Let me see. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That's so far. Twenty up. Could you, what can you do with twenty up? Anything, just about anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how fast is that? That's great. All right, uh, that's good. Well, now that, that's uh Oh, I can't get over that tonight. Now I'm gonna. I'll upset you now. Oh, I know. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, oh well, I'll, I'll I'll live with my. Well, I can't complain. I've got two and a half or two and a quarter. No, two point one five even. <laughs> <laughs> I won't exaggerate. Two point one five up, so that's as best as you can get non NBN. So I can't complain too much. Even just, you get you get you get a hundred you get a hundred down, though, Glenn. Yeah, <laughs> hundred and fifteen down, and uh, but yeah. but you need the ups, don't you? That's that's as well. That's the, that's the thing. I oh, need a bit a bit, bit of balance there, and yeah, you probably you'd probably trade your fifty uh, up, wouldn't you, to go fifty twenty rather than a hundred and two? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the up. Oh, how much could you do with that much up? I don't know. All right. Uh, and Jace, did, did you have anything else, Jace, this week? Uh, no, that's that, that's probably all. So next week I won't be joining you from on the road and I won't be on my mobile, hopefully. So back uh, back in the studio uh, and back on broadband. And your bandwidth's been reset. Be, my be, bandwidth's been reset, yes. You'd be full blast. So all, all happy on Big Pond, uh, Big Pond Ultimate. Good stuff. <laughs> all right. So we hope that you guys... Excellent. Can join us again next week as well, the aussiemaxzone.com.au for the show notes. And don't forget the IT help number four, letter U.com.au for all your iOS repairs, MacBooks, Mac thingos, and uh, give him time, the uh, the big things. What are the Mac Pro things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. And don't, also don't forget, if you're looking for hosting, athwebhosting.com.au, uh, moved over to nice, brand new, fast Dell servers down there in Sydney, and they are lightning fast. So uh, they're all good reports. Nothing but good reports coming out from the Sydney data centre down there. So uh, athwebhosting.com.au, if you're looking for some web space for your blog or your business web page, also register your domain while you're there as well. All right. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next week. And uh, no worries. See you next week, Glenn. See you, Michael. Yeah. And uh, Jason, Glenn, thank you. No problems at all. And we'll see you next week, Tuesday. Back to Tuesday, and hopefully we'll hear from Garth. I think he's on a cruise. So until then, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.